Thank you very much, uh, photographers. Can you please uh, yeah, calm down? I know it's a very exciting uh, event. Thank you. All right. I'd like to... Director Health Services, HCG. And to Ms. Bipasha Basu. Go over there, go over there. Properly. And Mrs. Devika Bhojwani. All right. Now I will talk to you. So you guys are quiet. I am standing in the middle of the room. The Mumbai Pinkathon on the 15th of December 2013. Very happy. Four, four cities this year. And we are very proud uh, to do that because uh, it's very difficult to do an event like this even in one city. And because of the response that we got from women all across the country, we were able to do this in Bangalore. We were able to do the event in Delhi and Pune, and now the second event in Mumbai. We would not have been able to do this event without the support of the media and without the support also of many people across the country who have helped us to do this event. The Pinkathon is an event that encourages women from all backgrounds to take care of their own health. We find that in our country today, Unfortunately, women neglect themselves a lot. They pay a lot of attention to the health of their children, to their families, their husbands, maybe even the husband's families, but they never pay attention to their own health. So this initiative wants to encourage more women to take up an active lifestyle, spend more time for themselves, understand the value of health and fitness, and spread that message to their families. We believe that healthy women will lead to healthy families, and healthy families to a healthy country. There is one cause that we talk about specifically in the Pinkathon. And we are really passionate about this cause. That cause is breast cancer awareness. We do a lot of um, awareness creating promotional campaigns in every city about what breast cancer means today in a country like India, how difficult it is uh, in a situation where you know that almost one in 20 women are going to fall prey to this disease at some point in their life. So we want to do our bit. We are not experts uh, in, in breast cancer or any kind of disease, but we have partners who give us their expertise and who are also passionate about the cause, and they talk about it, and they help us to spread awareness through the Pinkathon. So I'd like to introduce our first guest today. He's the Director of Health Services of HCG, and because of HCG's support and the value that they see in this event, we have been able to take this, to take the Pinkathon to many cities. And we are really thankful to HCG to be a part of this. And I'd like to uh, invite Mr. Dinesh Madhavan to speak about his involvement with the Pinkathon. A big hand, please. Thanks, sir. Thanks, Milan. Uh, and members of the media. Uh, it's a matter of pride to be associated with an event which uh, with Milan and Maximus has seen so much of visibility in the last 12 to 16 months. What we have noticed is as a single enterprise, as an individual, across India nobody has created so much of awareness on the single cause which today is a great equalizer. Breast cancer has become a great equalizer because it knows no creed, religion or person but what we have found, and one of the reasons that we have supported this event is, awareness is a very key initiative in trying to diagnose breast cancer or to find ways to prevent breast cancer at the earliest. <laughs> okay, so... A lady we all know, when, I, uh, when Maximus thought of the Pinkathon a couple of years ago, and we wanted to do something for a cause, the first person that I thought of 
was Devika Bhojwani. Devika Bhojwani herself is a survivor of breast cancer. People like Bipasha who come here, she actually launched it when we first started. On the 16th, I remember of December last year, we were all very excited. It was all new. I wasn't sure what we were going in for. I wasn't sure how Milan was going to take this forward. But we believed that this was something the time had come. Um, I set up Women's Cancer Initiative 10 years ago. We've come a long way. At that point, 10 years ago, people weren't talking about breast cancer awareness. When I first discovered I had cancer 13 years ago, you know, I actually asked my doctor when he said, go and show this mammogram to an oncologist. I said, who's an oncologist? Somebody like me, traveled, educated, actually didn't know the term oncologist uh, 13 years ago. And it made me realize that in India, we really didn't think cancer or breast cancer was something that would affect us. Over the last 13 years, we've seen not only is it touching lives of people we know, but cases all over the country, especially in metropolitan cities, are rising dramatically. I mean, you read the newspapers now, people talk about it, there are graphs and statistics that come out all the time. We don't know why this is happening. I mean, there's lots of research going on, HCG is doing it, Tata is doing it. So we know that it's happening. But we also know, like in my case, that if you catch it early, it's curable. So I decided to become that person up there in front to say, hey, if it can happen to me, and it can, and you don't blame yourself, we still don't know why, but it is curable. You know, in the old days, at, in movies, Hindi movies especially, cancer ho gaya to finish ho gaya. It's not that any longer. I mean, that is something that girls need to know, women need to realize. So don't be afraid. That's the first message. And through an, a platform like the Pinkathon, we've actually been able to reach out to Nearly 10,000 women in the, bomb, in the Mumbai pack, uh, Pinkathon this year, now on the 15th of December, we will have our 10,000 woman register. To me, it's so heartening. 10,000 women have been empowered with a message that you are precious, you are important to the people who love you. Get yourself checked. They've been given information on that. Wow, and I see maybe all those 10,000 will be free of cancer. Maybe they will catch it early. Maybe they will be sensible. Maybe we will not have to go through the journey that so many other women have to go through. Over these uh, last 10 years, the foundation has every year taken care of the treatment of nearly 500 women. So there are 5,000 women somewhere who've gone back to their families, are living normal lives, are taking care. And to me, that is just so heartening. And this can only happen because events like Pinkathon help bring in the finances. I mean, it's one thing to create awareness, it's another thing to then raise money, promise to do something for those women. And these women are just like us, maybe they come from different walks of life, they don't have the money sometimes to even buy their train ticket to come to the Tata Hospital, but they make it. They have the determination to get well. And it is so empowering to be in that position to be of some help. I believe that in the end, we are all sisters under the skin. All of us women are the ones who understand each other. We know what another woman provides for her family. We know what it takes for her, what she has to struggle to live her life from day to day. Beauty is not just on the outside and it's difficult to go beyond that with her because she's so beautiful. But the fact is that she's 10 times more beautiful inside. And this is something that she really understands well. She has a saying, that if you love yourself, you know, you can win the world, right? So I'm very happy to have Bipasha here. She has uh, supported us right from the first year. As Devika mentioned, 